In this video, we'll review the DocuSign integration. The DocuSign integration is available on multiple tools. We'll use the Commitments tool in this video. We'll begin in our electrical commitment, which is ready to send for review and signature. Prior to sending a document for signature through DocuSign, we recommend setting up a template for each type of document in DocuSign. This allows you to set default signer information and signing order, set the default signature or other fields and locations on the document, and set the default email, subject, and message. Let's start by clicking Edit. At the top left, check the option to Sign with DocuSign. Next, update the status to Out for Signature or whatever status you want to reflect that the commitment is being routed for signature. Once the Sign with DocuSign checkbox is checked, the Complete with DocuSign button at the bottom right of the commitment is now available to click. Clicking this will take you directly into DocuSign. If this is your first time initiating a DocuSign document from Procore, you will be prompted to sign into DocuSign with your account. You will only be required to sign into DocuSign once. Now in DocuSign, the DocuSign integration will provide default signature fields in the appropriate locations for your PDF. Or, if you have previously set up a DocuSign template for this document type, you can apply the template which will populate the signing information. Add any additional documents such as exhibits by clicking Upload. Verify, enter, add, or edit recipients as necessary. Verify, edit, or enter the email subject and message as necessary. Once you finalize the document, recipients, and email information, click Next at the top right. If you have applied a template, the signature and initial fields will populate on the document in the appropriate locations. Verify, add, or edit fields as necessary for each recipient using the recipient dropdown at the top left and the list of fields below on the left. Once you finalize the fields, click Send at the top right. Clicking Send will take you back into Procore and will initiate the DocuSign signature workflow. Back in Procore, the banner at the top of the commitment shows the DocuSign workflow is in progress. You can view the PDF in its current state in the DocuSign workflow with any signatures, initials, or markups by clicking View. You can void the DocuSign workflow by clicking Void. Once the DocuSign workflow has started, the signed contract receive date will show Signature Required until the final signature in the DocuSign workflow is complete. You can view the PDF in its current state, just like you can from the view link in the banner above. Let's switch users so we can see what the banner looks like when it's our turn in the DocuSign workflow. When it's a Procore user's turn in the DocuSign workflow, the banner reflects it's their turn to sign the document. Signers are also notified by email and are not required to log into Procore to be notified their signature is required or to sign the document. Signers can sign the document from any internet-enabled device, including mobile. Signers do not need their own DocuSign account. If the signer is accessing the document from email, the email provides a link taking them directly into DocuSign. Or, if the signer is accessing the document from Procore, clicking the Sign Contract button in the banner will take them directly into DocuSign. Now in DocuSign, DocuSign will guide them through the document to show them where to sign, initial, and enter information. Once the required fields are complete, click Finish at the bottom. Clicking Finish will take them back into Procore and will move the DocuSign workflow to the next recipient. Back in Procore, now that the DocuSign workflow is complete, the banner at the top of the commitment shows the document has been executed and finalized. You can void the DocuSign document by clicking Withdraw. The signed contract receive date shows the date the DocuSign workflow was completed. And the executed checkbox is automatically checked. The document can be viewed in a few locations. 
in Procore from the view link we previously reviewed in your email and for the DocuSign account holder within DocuSign in the My Documents tab. The final step is to manually update the status of the commitment to reflect it is complete. The signed contract receive date is grayed out since this is populated by DocuSign when the commitment is not in edit mode. This concludes our review of the DocuSign integration. Thanks for watching.